Bobby Russell here, SVP of sales at my carrier. For every shipment that we execute and get out the door, we're going to have an invoice for that individual shipment record. I'm gonna show you how we can streamline these workflows and process between the shipping department and the accounting team to reduce labor and make life much easier. I've just jumped in here to the invoices module within the toolbar and now you can see it. Let's assume that I wanna pay my carriers every week. So I jump into the application and right on the dashboard, I can see the total invoice amount received, 33202. Total quoted, 30702. Difference amount of 25 bucks. And I only have two invoices in here, but right away I know I've got a discrepancy. If I pan and look down, I have two individual carrier shipment records with two invoices we have consumed from the carrier, have brought in system and matched them against their shipment record. On the first one, I can see that it was auto approved because the invoiced amount matched the quoted amount penny for penny. Or you can set up your own threshold. This one has a $15 threshold. This means if I receive the invoice and it's within $15 of the quoted amount, I can auto approve this record. Now let's look at the one where the difference amount occurred. Here it is right here with RL carriers. I was quoted 153, I was billed 178 for a difference amount of $25. Let's figure out why. I can click into the individual shipment record. It's gonna open up and looking at this, I can now quickly compare the invoice total to the original quoted amount and I'm looking at the line items and they all match penny for penny but if I look at the invoice total there's a liftgate fee for $25. I also have access to supporting documents right here like proof of deliveries, W&I certificates, original bill of ladings. I can click into commodity details, origin and destination details to get some background contextual information to help me settle and resolve this potential dispute. Now I can look at this and I understand that you know what, the lift gate was warranted. I'm gonna go ahead and click approve. I have now approved this invoice to be paid or on the inverse of this, let's say accounting was in here and accounting can go over here and share this with somebody in the shipping department and ask them to validate or verify if this is okay to be paid. They are now collaborating and interacting together without ever having to leave their desk. I just approved this invoice. I'm gonna jump back into my invoice workflow, jump in here, filter down to RL carriers, done. There's my two invoices. You can see my auto approved and my approved amount, and just like that, it's done. How we do this is we connect directly to the carriers you already work with so that we can consume the invoice the minute it's created. That invoice comes into my carrier electronically where we match it against its awarded rate quote at the time the shipment was executed. Now we can have automation to a process that had a lot of redundant manual steps inside of it. This makes life easier for everyone and better yet, you will start to understand when, where, and why you're overpaying so that you can either solve that inside your four walls or work with your carriers to clean this up so that your invoices start matching your awarded rate quotes and you do not lose money or leave it on the table because invoices that are higher than their awarded rate quotes will cut into your profit margin. So check this tool out. I believe it's gonna be a huge help and a huge solution for just about every shipper out there.